guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm Random Sparkle. Today I'm going to be going through another beauty review. So I have two different things I'm going to be reviewing. Um, the first one is going to be the new Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette that I got from Sephora a couple days ago. Um, I was pretty excited about this because of the fact that I don't spend very much money on eyeshadow palette, but I love Tarte. I was getting really low on my eyeshadow. And just to let you guys know, this is $36. Why I got volume three instead of volume one or two is just because of the colors that they had in this one. Um, I knew I would use more for like everyday use. The other one would be more of like special occasions and I didn't want to spend $36, like almost $40 on a palette if I wasn't gonna use it pretty much every day. Um, so it's really, really cute. I love the way it looks. It reminds me of a mermaid. Um, and then the back is just all gold and pretty. Um, and then when you open it up, it does have this little plastic over top. But you can see here, it has pretty nice variety of colors. They are all pretty shimmery, except for this one that's called Tiki, which is right here. Um, and then it also got sent with this cute little paper. So there's two different styles on here. They have more natural eyeshadow, little tutorial instructions that you can follow, or one that's for a little bit more of a dark, dramatic look. I think this is a really good idea, especially for beginners. Basically a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this palette. I tested out one of their little tutorials on here and I actually really liked it. I really like the colors and how shimmery and sparkly all of their um, colors are and they do blend really well. So I want to give you guys some splotches of these. So that's Treasure, a whitish highlighter type color. Um, the next I'm going to do Escape. It's just a tiny tad darker. And I love how intense these colors are. Um, I'm gonna do the matte one. This one is the matte, and like, and it's really close to my skin tone. Um, next, I'm gonna do Heat Wave. So that one's close to my skin tone also, but I really like it. It's got a little bit more warmth to it. Then this is probably the darkest color in this palette. And that color is the Malibu. It's a really pretty chocolatey color. Next, I'm gonna do Compass. I really like that one as well. And it's just got a little bit more of a creamy color to it than these lighter ones that are more white, I feel like. Um, and then this one is called Jewel. It's more of like a hazelnut, I wanna say. A goldish hazelnut brown. All right, so those are all the shades. I really love this palette, $36. Um, if you're gonna use it, it's worth it. Um, I think volume two is the one that has a really dark color here. It's more of like a darkish blackish purple. So that's the biggest difference is that the other ones just have more cooler colors, I wanna say. This is pretty much all warm colors and that's why I got it is because that's what I used. But yeah, $36. I like the mirror on here. It's a nice size mirror. Like I said, this is the volume three. And I did get it from Sephora. They also sell this, I know, at Ulta and on their Tarte website. I will put the link for that down below if you guys want to check that out. Okay, and the next thing that I want to go through really quick is just my Ipsy unbagging. So technically, this should be my November Ipsy bag. Um, this is what it looks like. And if you guys are subscribed to my channel and saw my October Ipsy and Baking complaining about the fact that it wasn't Halloween themed at all. So yeah, I'm just now realizing that they've been a month behind with my Ipsy bags. So the October and Baking that you guys saw was actually my September bag. This bag that they sent me in November is actually my October bag. So yeah, I'm just gonna give the review anyways because I really like the products that they sent me. I'm gonna have to contact them and be like, hey guys, get me back up to speed. That's why my October bag wasn't Halloween themed. I was a little weirded out. But yeah, so this one, as you can see, it has a bat on it. It almost looks like red lace on here. So it almost reminds me of like vampire-y, gothy type theme. The paper that they sent says spellbound. These have turned the air is cooler. Nightfall starts a little sooner every day. Everything feels enchanted, mysterious, and different. Um, so yeah, this is supposed to be for October. It says 
In my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised. This is definitely one of my sayings. I've definitely heard this before, but that's really cute. So let's just get right into these products. When I opened up my Epsi bag, usually there's always five products inside of here. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's only four products. I was like freaking out. But then I realized that there was something else in my packaging bag. And it was this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. I am so ecstatic that they sent me this. And I'm not kidding when I'm saying I will never buy another eyeliner. This stuff is amazing. So when I was trying to make it to my business class graduation like a couple days ago i was in such a hurry i couldn't find my normal um eyeliner and i was like you know what i'm just gonna use the sample that they sent me so this is what it looks like and i didn't realize that i think it is like a legit pencil that you can um use a pencil sharpener on it's not a twist up so that's interesting it felt like it was plastic when I was using it but yeah this is what it looks like it's super super black and they call it glide on it is like butter this is from ColourPop so I just want to show you guys a comparison of these okay so compared to my regular eyeliner this stuff goes on so easy and I was so amazed when I realized that they had all these different colors like I really need to go get their white, their green, their blue, their purple, their pink. It just, it goes on so easy, so amazing, and it's super, super vibrant. Okay, so this is the ColourPop eyeliner. It's just normal black. Definitely could be more intense, right? This is the 24 hour Urban Decay. Oh man, it's amazing. It goes on super, super black. When I say it's like butter, I mean it's like butter. I don't know how much they're charging in stores for the full version, but I'll definitely put the price over here for you guys. Um, as soon as I used this, I was like, I'm never buying another eyeliner. This is the eyeliner I'm gonna use because like I said, it just, it went on so easily and it was really easy to work with. And I'm really, really ecstatic about how vibrant it is because I know that the other colors in this eyeliner is gonna be amazing. The next thing that they sent me, moisturizer. I've used this a couple of times already. I definitely really like it. It's just called Ultra Repair Cream. It's, it's for intense hydration for dry, parched skin. And it says it's also safe for sensitive skin. Fab First Aid Beauty is the company that made this. Pretty much just says apply as much as needed. The only thing that I don't like is that they did put EDTA in this, which is definitely not a natural ingredient. The next thing that they sent me is actually this Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. And just to let you guys know, this Rainforest of the Sea number 3, in that little... Um, in this little tutorial they sent with it, it does suggest to use this mascara with it. I'm putting a picture over here for you guys of this mascara on one of my eyes just so you guys can see how well it actually works. I think it works pretty well compared to the Man Eater Tarte Mascara, which is my everyday mascara that I just buy on a normal basis. Um, it's a lot smaller and the wand, you can see my Man Eater wand it keep make sure that your eyelashes don't clump together. I feel like this Lights Camera Lashes formula is a little bit more clumpy. And the brush that they give with it doesn't help separate your eyelashes as much. But if that doesn't bother you, then I think it works really well. The next thing that they sent me was just this Deuce. I want to say do Douse Deuce. I'm definitely butchering it. I'm sorry, guys. Freematic Highlighter. I haven't used this yet. I will do a little swatch. This is what it looks like out of the package. It's just this little sampler size. It's a very, it's more of a dull type um, highlighter. I think it'll be more, able to see it better on me. I don't know. I think it works okay, but it's definitely, I like the Urban Decay <laughs> highlighter probably a lot better. But yeah, so that's the highlighter that they sent me. And then let's see, the last thing in here is this. It looks like a macaroon. 
like a red macaroon. Well, that was a disaster. Anyways, like I was saying, this is like a red macaroon. It says Cute Balms Macaroon Lip Balm Vanilla. I am excited to open this. It's so dang cute. It's adorable. Okay, and I think it just snaps open. Or screws open. Screws open. Mmm, it smells like vanilla. My lips, I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but they're like crusty. I'm sorry. I really needed this chopstick. Oh my gosh. I need to do like a lip scrub right now. I like it. It's definitely really lightweight. It kind of melts into your lips if you know what I mean. I don't feel like there's a really heavy coating. As you can see, I'm like still putting it on because I feel like it's literally soaking into my lips. I see the ingredients on here now. They don't look very natural, but it feels nice. All right, guys, I think that about does it. Let me know what you guys thought of all these products and if you guys have maybe tried the Reinforced of the Volume 1 or 2 and you like them better, or maybe if you don't. And yeah, if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button down there. If you guys want updates for whenever I upload my new videos, don't forget to click on the bell button down there by the subscribe button so you guys can make sure to stay updated. And yeah, we'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.